In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the lameness locator and the ways in which we can use it in a lameness exam. So what it is, is it's three little wireless sensors. One goes on the horse's head, one goes on the horse's right front foot, and one goes on the horse's pelvis. The one on the right front foot just measures which foot is on the ground at what time. But the one on the head and the pelvis measure the horse's torso movement up and down with each stride. So in a perfectly sound horse, it would be symmetrical from right to left. And if there's any little asymmetry, the lamus locator will measure that asymmetry and quantify it. So we give, get an objective measurement of lameness rather than just our subjective measurement. So ways in which this can be helpful is we put it on every lameness exam that we do, or the majority of them, because it really is just helpful to figure out a lot of different things. If the horse has multiple lamenesses going on in different legs, it'll help us sort that out. If one lameness is compensatory for another lameness, it'll help sort that out from true two truly different lamenesses. If the lameness is quite subtle, the sensors are able to pick up a lameness that's about 10 times more subtle than we can see with our eyes. If we're doing nerve blocks or joint blocks, putting local anesthetic in various places to try to determine if the horse is better when it can't feel a certain part of its foot, it will quantify the difference between the lameness before the block and after the block, so it'll actually give us a percentage that the horse has improved after the block. Similarly, on a recheck exam basis, if we haven't seen the horse for three or four months and that horse comes back for another exam, it'll allow us to objectively compare the lameness before and after and get a, give us the amount that it's improved with time. The horse we saw in the video is showing a very clear right hind limb lameness. So if we look at the report from the lameness locator, on the left side of the screen is what's going on in the front limbs. So each of the blue lines represents a single stride, and a perfectly sound horse, all of those blue lines would be clustered right around the middle, such as they almost are in this horse. If we look at the numbers towards the bottom of the screen, for the front limbs, anything over the number 6 is representative of a lameness. And so this horse has minus 4.5 and 0 0.7, so consistent with a symmetrical forelimb gait um, or sound in the front limbs. However, if we look at the right-hand side of the screen, um, we have the left hind limb there on the left and the right hind limb on the right. Obviously, there's a lot more going on in the right hind limb. Uh, and if we look at the numbers, in the hind limbs, anything over a 3 is representative of a lameness. And this horse has a 10 and an 8.6. So there's red lines showing that there's a push-off component to the lameness, as well as green lines showing an, in an impact component to the lameness. So overall, a prominent right hind limb lameness. So when we use the lameness locator as part of our either lameness exam or pre-purchase exam, we'll trot the horse in a straight line up and down. We need to get a certain amount of strides for it to get an appropriate reading. We can also use it on a circle evaluation at the lunge. We'll lunge the horse to both directions and then compare. Um, the sensors go to uh, a wireless tablet that allows you to get that reading and get that the graphs that it gives you and, and the numbers. Um, and it'll also allow you to determine which phase of the stride the lameness is coming from, whether it's impact as the horse is setting its foot down or push off as the horse is, is pushing off the ground to take another stride. So sometimes that can give you a clue as to where the lameness might be coming from as well. So overall, the lameness locator is a really good tool that you can use as part of your exam. It's not going to tell you exactly where in the leg a lameness is coming from. That's the job of the lameness exam and nerve blocks to sort that out. But it will help you determine exactly what legs are involved in the lameness and give you an actual number associated with that lameness to use as part of your workup.